Hey guys, I just want to talk a little bit more about depersonalization and derealization and what has helped me move along um, in my journey with it. So about a year ago, I was coming home. It was spring break. I'm just getting off of spring break now. But I was coming home from school, taking a quarter off because I needed to figure out what was going on. I thought it was a concussion that was just causing these crazy symptoms. But the more I realized it, it was this thing called depersonalization and derealization. And for me, that helped a lot just knowing, but in the end, there's still a lot that needs to take place after you know what's what's going on with you. Um, so one thing that's helped me is not avoiding what you fear. And in fact, going into the realm of the unknown and going after what you fear, because once you go into a situation that you fear and you conquer it, or you even just get through it, that gives you strength that gives you power that gives you knowledge that you can handle this you can get through this and you have you have a bigger you have a bigger area in which you can be comfortable because once you expand your comfort zones once you get out of your comfort zones your comfort level your comfort zone expands and for me the goal has been to just forget the discomfort forget it don't I mean, obviously there's discomfort and there has been, and there's been growingly, growingly, I don't know if that's a word, but growingly less and less. And I attribute some of that to simply getting out there and going and hanging out with friends and doing things, flying in an airplane, go, go swimming, go do crazy stuff, go have fun. I attribute to that um, because that is breaking limits. That is getting out of the box. That is getting out of your house. Um, I was in this house for months, just, I thought that, because I got a concussion and I thought that that was the main deal that was going on, but I realized that quickly that that was not the main thing that was going on. And um, so the main thing for me would just be, not the main thing, but an important thing to do is to just get out, even if it's uncomfortable, get out and hang out with your friends, go do crazy stuff. This is an opportunity to recreate who you are and for me that's a great that's an awesome thing because I know that I've lived in a world that I have not created my whole life I've lived in a world that has been created by other people and expectations of other people and now I'm starting to see that I have to follow what I believe no matter what anybody says so yeah getting out of your comfort zone has helped me so much um, to expanding limits to expanding your world pretty much you're not going to be able to make any progress if you're not stepping out of where you are you can't one of my favorite quotes um by gandhi i'm pretty sure is that you can't expect or is it albert Ein no it's albert einstein you i think don't quote me um you can't expect to fix the problems that you have right now with the same thinking as the thinking that you started with. Basically, the thinking that you've lived with, if you want change, you gotta change your thinking. And I totally screwed up that quote. But anyways, for me that just means questioning a lot and getting out and getting out of the box, getting out of a room, um, just getting out of your comfort zone, expanding your comfort zone, and once you start to do that, you'll realize that there is there's literally no limits to what you can do. Just because you feel this way does not mean that the world is actually fake. It just means that your brain is in this place where it's trying to subdue what's around you because you've been dealing with some stress and emotional trauma. And that brings me to my next point, which would be to forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Go back. Really try to find... Try to find these places where there's some very heavy emotional um, experiences for you. And for the most part, that'd be negative experiences because those experiences could be leading up, could be leading you to have built up this sort of chemistry in your brain that you have right now. So by forgiving yourself and forgiving others, going back and talking to people that you've had issues with, even if you don't even think that they're really an issue, just talking about them 
bringing them back up through the con from the subconscious um, to the conscious really really helps. Um, it's helped me, and obviously I'm not I'm not fully healed, but I am healing, and so are you. I'm um, just watching this video. You're doing the right thing. You're doing what you think is best for you, and you're trying to figure out what what to do. And just I'm gonna try to give you guys just some knowledge uh, that I've gotten over the last year um, with this uh, depersonalization and derealization. And yeah, I would just say forgive, don't forget, but just really dig deep and get in here and try to figure out what's really going on. Try to figure out if there's someone you need to talk to and let them know what what's going on. It, the best one of the best things that's helped me is to just be honest and be open. If you're in a bad mood, if you're feeling sad, express it. That's one of the worst things that any of us could do is to suppress our emotions because when you suppress your emotions then you become depressed. So that's also another reason why I think music is such a great thing. And this is totally different uh, subject but express yourself you know draw make music play sports exercise anything that will get you into your body and out of your mind get you into doing and not thinking get you into acting and not being acted upon by all these thoughts and life in general so yeah um, another thing that I would say is this try not to look for a cure outside of yourself and what I mean by that is all of this that you're feeling right now is something that's accumulated inside of yourself and in my opinion the only way that you're actually gonna get over this is with yourself and so I found that trying to find like a girl or a, someone else that you kind of attach to, try not to, by all means, accept love and accept what's in this moment. But if you find that you're in a situation where you are gravitating towards another person because you lack your own self-confidence and your own comfortability and your own sense of security with yourself, um, I would just say kind of stay away from that because that can just lead to more problems and more kind of shoving aside of what's really going on. And so I just, I really encourage you to get in here, get in here, and get out here as well. Okay. You, you are the only person that can solve this for you. And that may mean you have to talk to some other people about it, but that doesn't mean you need to attach to another person or find or make up for a deficit of something that needs to be taking place inside of you with someone else. You can do it. Just have faith in yourself, trust in yourself, and you got this, okay? So have a good day. Peace.